Who among you viewers is prepared <laughs> to taste my potion? Just put me out here. Who among you is prepared to taste my potion? Who? Why was this? What? <laughs> Who among you is prepared to taste my potions? <laughs> Julia is not prepared. <laughs> Clearly. She's not even on camera. Why was it so far over? Droppy? For straight? Droppy, yeah. That makes sense. Hi, everybody. Who's ready to taste my potions? I'm going to make a potion for each of you, and they're each going to do a different thing. Half wow. of them do a good thing. Half of them do a bad thing. Do you take the risk and taste pull? the potion? No, we don't need a poll. Just answer it for oh, okay. yourself. Oh. I don't need real answers. Well, you're getting answers in the chat already. Yeah, so. I'll just like get the the vibe. There's a lot of yes and yeses. A few glug glugs. A lot of people are willing to take the mystery potion. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. lot of people. Here's how you know um here's how you know if your potion is mm -hmm. bad. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't... Let her brew. Okay, take everyone. I want you to look at how many uh, viewers are viewing the stream. Uh-huh. It says 162 right now. I don't think that's correct. That's not correct. So whatever it says for you, pick a number between one and that number. I'm going to give you a moment. Mm-hmm. Now, if that number ends in a two, but isn't two, your num your potion is good. What? Wait, what'd you say? If your number ends in a two, but isn't two, mm -hmm. I feel like you like that's a very few people are getting a good potion. I said half. <laughs> We, you may, listen. You, I said you, half the potions were good. Okay, yeah. And you expected more people to show up. So you okay. made more potions. Okay, yeah. That's the problem. Then people took. That makes a lot of sense. So, no one here is a liar. Sorry, everyone. You got the, you got the bad, the bad half of potions. Not enough of you showed up for potion day. Yep. So instead, a bunch of people ended up with the bad potions. Very mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, sorry. That's the risk you take. Kato Ren, thank you for the raid. I just saw that pop up. Thank you. We're playing Potionomics today. That's the important thing. And also important is that I've been wanting to play this game on stream for a while because I've seen like videos of it. And it's got the most beautiful art and character design and animation. Yeah. And I'm just, I just think everyone's going to really like it because it's so pretty to ja look at. Jacob did turn around and go, chat's going to go nuts for these characters. A every character I've seen, I've screamed aloud. Yeah. yeah. And then a, a new one I would see and I would scream aloud again. Mm -hmm. It's all good. It's all good. <sighs> you have like a little thing that's like threatening to go into your mouth. Can I get it? Can you stop smiling? <laughs> I got it. Thank you. Did I help? <laughs> sure did, bud. Let's play the game. Yeah. Let's play the game. I want to play the game. Why don't you play the game? Why don't we play the game? Unmuting the audio now. Switching to gameplay mode now. <laughs> this music does not warrant that kind of dancing. <laughs> You're going too hard. Potionomics. New game. Need to go back to an old save? No. My dearest Sylvia. Greetings from Rafta. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop. Fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. 
I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. All my homies hate Maven the Witch Queen. <laughs> Her unsanctioned experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? She's a witch. She's a mother. She's a... Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Love to your mother sounds like an insult. Love to your mother. Love to your mother. Whoa. Back up. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit, unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Damn. Old cabbage is good. That's kimchi, bro. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. Do you think there's an in-between between, like, good cabbage, like, ready-to-eat cabbage and kimchi, in that it's, like, not old enough to be tasty? Well, it's you have to like ferment it in the proper way. So yeah. I imagine there are degrees of fermentation, but I don't imagine any of them is particularly bad. Mm. That's sauerkraut. Mm. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? <laughs> Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great. Damn. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I love the stamps. Is Uncle Oswald hot? I think Uncle Oswald's hot. I love the stamps. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream. Come to Rafta. Accept your inheritance and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Dearly departed, Oswald. Damn. (laughs) You died so early. Sylvia. Oh, this is different. Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. He started a career in a shop that you had no say in, but you will continue it. You'll continue it by law. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Girl, back up from the paper. Gonna hurt your eyes. Oh! No! A delight! No! Okay, this place is not all I hoped for, but this could still work. I can make this work. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw in the rafters. Good thing I've got a broom. Yo, mysterious witch. Hello. What? Is everyone in this game hot? Everyone in this game is hot. I'll warn you ahead of time. Okay. Forgive me for the intrusion. You're hot. I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm Helene, and you're Sylvia, right? We have some business to discuss, but first I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Thanks, but I didn't know him that well. All the same, it's a pity, particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. As his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls to you. What, really? I didn't know that's how it worked. But I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I've got the shop. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? Oh my god, her cool briefcase That's has so teeth. sick. What? I take it you'd prefer to set up a payment plan. But... That's so much gold. You could build five shops with that much gold. What the world did Oswald do with it? Mismanaged it to judge by appearances. I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look it over. That fine print is... very fine. (laughs) What did you just do? I've invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time, and this shop is yours. Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property, and will be legally obliged to work for us until such a time as we deem your debt repaid. 
That sounds bad. I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here. I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion so I can be your first patron. Oh, baby, we're selling a potion. Um, I say we start with attempting to raise her interest in the potion. And we're gonna we're gonna do that. It's a potion. We you knew that. And then we'll go ahead and blunder. I think blundering is the next best move. Yeah. I like you'll think it wait, no. And then we'll go ahead and flail. It's uh pretty good, probably. And we'll in turn. The stress is getting to me. I love this drawing down yeah, here. Yeah, it's wow, really wow, cute. Wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. I like to panic first, personally. Yeah. Oh, I can't even get rid of that. Oh, I just have, have to, to end enter. my turn. Oh no. Oh God, oh no, oh God. I'm too stressed to function. Well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have a full 10 days before your first payment is due. I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck. Of course, of course this would happen. I never should have come here. What am I going to do? Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Ow, my hip! Uh, I mean, hoot hoot? I heard that. You... You can talk! Well... Well, of course I can talk. You must be new here. This is Rafta, where the strange is commonplace and... And the birds are chatty. And... What are property laws like in Rafta? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. I live here, actually. You can call it a living. Eating scraps, hiding in the shadows. You live here in the shop? I didn't know Uncle Ald Oz Oz Od Oddwald. Oddball. Oddball. Oddballs. Had a pet? Oh, uh, did he never mention me? How strange. Perhaps he was uh, just so embarrassed to admit how integral I was to his shop. Yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is Owl. Owl? Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a... Uh... First idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway, Owl, it was nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. No, 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 you don't want to do that. I saw what happened. That lawyer's soul binding means she'll be able to track you to the ends of the globe. Miss a single payment and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle until you've worked off your debt. His faces are really good. He yeah. also blinks like separately. Yeah. <laughs> like it's blip, a little blip. slow. There's no way I can make enough by selling potions. Maybe not through the traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time. There are five competitions taking place over the next 50 days, a series of contests in which local merchants will go head to head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. What the fuck is this? FIT? The end of the semester? Look, I have information on the first competition right here. You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. You'll simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. Those are what you'll be judged on. With the first competition, actually win the first competition, and you automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prizes will be even better. And just look at that juicy grand prize. Win all five competitions and you'll have the money you need to get that debt collector paid off off your paid paid off your back for paid pay it off for good. You really think I've got a shot at this? Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. Well, all right then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, Owl. We're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some potionomics. No, that's the name of the game. Of the game. Who boy. Events. 
A potion a day keeps the healer away. One day, a new study has highlighted the benefits of daily health potion use in shoring up the body's natural defenses. Increased value for health potions. I love the little animations Start in this day. little town square. Look at, it, look look at us! people bouncing around. It's oh really my god, good. this game is so pretty. Look oh, at the little witch flying. It's continuing without you. Oh, now the real work can be aimed to craft some potions ahead of the cauldron and get brewing! Don't they know I'm busy looking at the art? I want to look at the art. Look at these backgrounds. I love how it's like a th this is like a 3D set and then this is all 2D back here. Yeah. With like, uh, you know, increasing blur. Mm hmm. All right. Let's save. Strong art design this game. Oh, look at even that one. Yeah, even that. Jesus. And let's brew. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around a cauldron. You went to school for this after all. I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me. The regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle basic stuff before they'll let me brew more advanced potions. Oh my god. <laughs> See? I got the first stamp when I graduated. To get the next one, I have to put in a lot of hours at the cauldron. Well, you certainly get your hours, starting now, in fact. Right. My first professional brew. I better go over my notes from college just to be safe. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different magic-infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magimins. 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 Ah, yes, the mighty Magimim. Where would we be without it? Wherever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find Magimins, magical creatures, mystical plants. Even the rocks of this supernatural island contain this critical alchemical compound. Heating an ingredient releases the Magimins contained within it, thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion's specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of Magimins. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magimins they contain will determine what kind of potion is created. Ratios are important too. If your balance of magimins is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. It sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, one step at a time. Gotta put ingredients in the cauldron to make a potion. Duh. Can't go wrong with health potions, and I have that recipe memorized. Health potions require a combination of red and green magimins. Some fey berries and mandrake root should do the trick. Six magimins, six magimins. You could do one and one. Or put that in there. Oh, you didn't put it in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. The balance of magimins is perfect. Perfect. Let's. Brew. Oh. Let's. Let's. More? 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 That's everything we need. Let's get the lid on and set it to brew. Brew! Alright, nothing left to do here but let it cook. Let it cook! Let it cook! People are saying the owl is the uncle. Uh, 100%. He's got the mustache. Yeah. Your potion should be ready in the afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. I got three potions. I'd like to arrange them. These old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on a shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. You got it, buckaroo. Money, please. Good, now when customers come in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. 
I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. Totally, dude. We're finally ready to open the store. Let's sell some potions! I'm so ready. Let's open the shop. It costs two time slots. Are these time slots? Probably. Probably. Okay, hopefully this goes better than yesterday. It will, it has to. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling, the art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each potion. You'll want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they'll pay. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of, of, of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. Eck! Here comes one now! You've got this! It's Peppy Commoner! Whoa! No one believes me, but I swear I saw a dragon yesterday! I love it! Let's talk money! I should start by setting them up for the pitch or whatever. They're going to increase our stress. So set we them will, up. We will set them up. Raise interest by four. If opener, apply set them up, which is a buff that increase interest applied by reel them in. Okay, makes sense. That one's a winner. Wow, nice. Now that I have their attention, I can reel them in. All right, I'm about to reel your ass in. Enjoy getting your interest raised by eight. There's no better potion for you. That's all I have for now. I've got to brace myself for their turn. Gain to shield. I can block the stress. Got it. Water off a of Drake's back. Okay, let's see what the customer has to say. When I came in, I thought the potions would be super cheap. How much of this can I take? Good thing I had my guard up. Otherwise, I'd be stressed. I guess I can finish up the deal now. Let's close it out. No, we should send up a real man one more time. Close them out. No, I want to set up every real man. That's just free. It's free. They only have five patients left. Yeah, but this costs one, and this costs two, and this costs nothing. Close them out. <laughs> Making me act suboptimally in my own store. Disgusting. I guess this raises interest by nine, so it will um, crush it. It'll max it out. Yeah. Do we have a deal? It didn't max it out. I can't wait to try it. Thanks for your business. Come on up. It's Friendly Artisan. Whoa. I ran into a hero who had the nicest things to say about this shop. I can feel the magic coming off of this one. All right, what are you about to do? You're going to devalue my potion, you son of a bitch. What I'll does kill you. think Sylvia think? Draw, Draw a card. card. Costs of patience to draw a card. Raise interest by seven. We want to draw a card. We want to try to get a set them up. Yeah. I need a different approach. No, we just got to brace yourself instead. Okay. All right, he's not going to do any stress damage to us. Will it block the devaluing? It says it blocks a set amount of stress. Okay. But he's just going to devalue our potion. I guess I'll just reel him in. Yeah. For the free interest buff. It's one of my finest potions. Oh, I'm just going to close it out. Oh, yeah. I feel like we're, we're at a pretty good spot. Don't even give him a chance. There you go. So what do you say? I'm warming up to it. You're the best. Take care. Can I help you? Gloomy craftsman. I can't believe people get up this early. I have my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. Reel him in, reel him in, reel him in! What are you about to do? You're about to lose patience? He, oh, he's minimally interested. Oh, he's got two shields. Customer shields. Alright, well. We're gonna no reel him. Potion for you. I mean, it's not the worst I've seen. And we'll reel him. It's one of my finest potions. And um, we're gonna go ahead and reel him. There's no better potion for you. And we're going to end turn. 
I need to get back up to my shop and jack up all the prices. Some things can't be rushed. Alright, and now we close it out. Because you only Ooh. got one patience left. Why set him up so bright? I don't know why it's bright. Maybe because it ha it's an opener, so it has to be played first. Mm. But if we play it, he'll run out of patience, so. Right. So what do you say? Well, all right then. Take care. That's all of them for now. That didn't go so badly. Yes, it's clear your haggling skills are already improving, but if I could offer a small suggestion. In a negotiation, sometimes the best move to make is the move you haven't thought about yet. When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. Scheme! Thank you for the card. I can be a little diabolical when I have to be. I'll look forward to seeing it in action, but that's enough of a break for now. That was a break? Come on now, back to work. Prepare only your strongest potions, potion seller. It said it. They did the joke. They did the joke. Those health potions will do, be some, some, doing something. <laughs> you didn't okay, read it quick enough. So it was to time watch dials. Yeah. Our uh, ads are going to start in a minute. 40. Oh, no. The health potions look ready. Let's bottle them up. Bottle. Bottle. Perfect brew. Oh, five star potion. We got two of them. That's the first batch done. Why not make some more for the night shift? Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what will be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow magimens. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. Magimens, ah! magimens. Magimens. Except. Perfect. Let's make those mana potions. Magimens. 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 Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat to speed up the process. That's how cooking works. Fuel. When you add to your cauldron's fire, it will reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. Be on the lookout for different types of fuel from different areas of the island. Not all fuel is created equal. I think there's a little bit of hay left. Go ahead and feed it to the fire. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. All right, I'm going to wait before I do this because ads are about to start. So we're going to chill for a sec. Ten seconds until ads. Brace yourselves, everyone. Hold on to something. Speak to a loved one. Close out your affairs. The ads are starting soon. Write up your will. They've started. It starts. And I'm going to read the subs. We got subs from Yuri New, Roomful of Lesbian Vampires, Kinku Bus, Kate Dice, Danxious, Sun King Avad, Peepo Boos, Ape Escape for the PS1, Saint Khan, Splinter Cat, That Fencer Dude, Fireless, Coochie Pinch, Tech Beck One, Kaiju King J, Meow Shali, Tiny Kendra, Confirmed Real, Slorts, Forest Corpse Chris, Icarus Impulse, Bosabe, Celestial Asexual, Mime Town, Maddie Abstract, Bubble Blowing Bumble Bee, A Snow Pig, Aeola Day, to chess, Cowboy Anarchy, a vet G Wiener, Vincent Q Rice, Katerin, Iridescent Lily, Ding Dang Downy, Antar Donna, Book Seekill, Sid CK103, Tiefling Finn, Impazar, Pup Sir Precious, Delighting Gale Plays, Badger Jaw gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Cryptid Space, Kate May Art, Punch Frog, True Round, Ola Bingo, A Light on the Water, Read Marks Damn It, Against Hope, A Dave Named Dave, The Red Baron Kev, The Glorious Goat, Discount Chicken Nugget, Please Draw Watsune Miku, gave out a sub, thank you. Hannah and Her Cat, Celestial Kitten Zero, Biscuit Quasar, Bumble Beavy, 
Second Reckoning, Seashell2812, Clark Clark Clark, Matician James, One Fat Badger, Fallen Sprite, Hot Damler, Martle be by the river, by them rivener, Martle be the them riv them rivener, Martle be them rivener. I'm going back to the top. You did a good job. Subbed in this economy, not really Canada. Chaos Mage Cat, Daima Onichan, Drakeith, Curebitor, Furier Bugs, Ire Sprite, RX Bonanza, PK Sappy, Lightning Leonin, Damon Tanuki, Hamjo 3, Crinkle Bones, Threerin. And then we just got one in from Postrophe Sten, as well as Nex Maroc. Thank you. Thank you all so much for the subs. Appreciate it. People are really appreciating the uh, pierced ears today, Jacob. Thank you, thank you. These are uh, these are Julia's earrings that I've stolen. By stolen, I mean we just allow each other to wear each other's jewelry. But Julia never wears my earrings. I only wear her earrings. <laughs> I don't wear earrings as often as you do. That's probably true also. I just don't think about them very much. Yeah. I think because I've had piercings for longer. And also it's just like... I don't know. I just like them a lot. Yeah, they're fun. And you probably like them more neutrally than I do. Yeah. The ads I, are over. I just noticed the little face of the fire under the cauldron. Yeah, it's got a wide face. It's really and cute. And it's blinking eyes. Is that the Draw Detectives fan-made necklace? It is, yeah. It is. The, the, the York-themed necklace with the, the bones on it, the teeth. Teeth bones connected to the necklace bones. I'm gonna play. I opened up my eyes and now I'll play. We're putting hay in the fire. Yeah. Oh, we feed it into ah. his little mouth. Gulp. Hey, go, let's brew, brew it. Great, now we can open the shop for the afternoon to sell the health potions you brewed this morning. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's take a moment to think about your haggling strategy. Adding new haggling tips to your arsenal is the key to convincing customers to pay you more money. Deck builder, let's go. Yes, 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 yes. Here are your cards on this page. These are the haggling skills you had to begin with. Head over to my page to see the new haggling tip I taught you. Show me. Recognize that one? New haggle techniques will appear here as you learn them. To add new techniques to your active deck, you'll have to make space for them. Mouse over any card in the deck and press the minus button to remove it, then you'll be able to click on a card to add it to your deck. Yeah. But I got space, so... You don't. You have 20 out of 20. Oh, no. See, it says 20 out of 20 at the bottom right there. I see. Yeah. So I need to remove something. Well, probably I should remove a think Sylvia think, because that only draws one card. Oh yeah, replace it with the, the three. So we'll put this in. Oh, you have two of them. Oh, That's and nice. I should take another one of these out and put another one of these in. It does cost more time. It costs one more time. Yeah. To get two more cards. Why can't I add this? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a better value for the patients. And you know I'm all, I'm all about value. Save deck. Okay. Are we ready to open the shop? No, I need to arrange my potions. That was almost a disaster. <laughs> open the shop with nothing in it. Eh? Eh. Good job. And then we open the shop. <laughs> Chill commoner. Pleasant afternoon, shopkeep. I hope we can come to an agreement. All Ooh, right. He's got, he's, he's gonna, what? He's gonna shield and he's going to annoy me. <laughs> Increase stress by one. All right, so we'll probably want to brace ourselves. Let's, yeah. let's reel him in. I wanna make a deal with you. And then we'll brace ourselves. Come at and me. And then we'll end turn. Getting 
through it all. So now we're annoyed. Because he's debuffed us. I see. He does have a shield up. He has three shield? He's got a trip trippy shield. Mm. All right, let's... Should I scheme? I might scheme. I'm going to scheme. Okay, now we hit him with a... With a real amen. And we hit him with a real amen. Good job, good job. And then we hit them with probably a close it out. Because he's only got two patients left. Mm. And I have nothing else to do to gain to gain my juice. All right. Close the deal, Sylvia. Do we have a deal? I'm liking this more and more. Things are looking up. Have a nice day. Who's next? Peppy Craftsman. No one believes me, but I swear I saw a dragon yesterday. <laughs> Someone else just came in and said that, weirdly enough. It was the Peppy Commoner. Yeah, I guess Peppy people all saw a dragon yesterday. Oh my god, I have a doubt in my hand. Oh, because you have a buildup of stress from earlier, Son I guess. Of, uh... All right, oh, well, carries over. we'll reel him in. I want to make a deal with you. We'll brace ourselves, and we'll in turn. I'm going to stop reading all those little lines. Yeah, there's no point, I don't think. They're not bespoke. She just dissed us. She said we have stonemason hands. Ooh, we can set him up, finally. But I don't have the ability to reel him in. Mm. But I'll still set him up. And I'll brace myself. And then all we need to do is close it out. Boom. Easy. Easiest deal of my life. Nice job. Now don't forget those mana potions. There's still time to sell them before the day's over. But it's nighttime. Let's bottle them up. What, we're open from the freaking crack of dawn to the to dusk of night? The dusk of night? We're working on the uh, Japanese work schedule. Ball. Ball. Great, we can sell these for the last block of the day. Before we do, however, let's brew a new set of mana potions. This time we'll kick it up a notch. I've got some ingredients stashed away for a rainy day that will push our potion to the next tier. Hive slime, man, manworm? Manworm. Manworm. Manworm root. I've dated a few manworms in my time. Get them. Let's drop these in and make some real potions. All right, so you're telling me these got a lot of magimans in them. Big time magiman usage here. This will knock your ass off. There you go, you eat that. Knock your ass off? This will knock your ass off. And we're going to brew it. This batch will need to brew overnight, so you can bottle them up in the morning. In the meantime, let's fit one in the last... Ha fit in... Let's fit... In one last haggling session. Owl has been in the potions, if you know what I mean. Hitting them potions. I'm having a sort of potion. I'm having a tea. I'm having a sort of potion. It's a beer. Yeah. That's kind of a, a magic. Bop and bop and scoobity bop. When do we sleep to get rid of our stress? <laughs> Probably at the end of this. I imagine, because it's early evening, mm. and this is probably like late evening or sleep sleep night time. Open the shop. Hello, friendly artisan. Set him up. I would love to set you up. Actually, I wonder if I don't play this, can I? Like wait, like do they they stay in my hand, right? And I draw more. 
Close them out. <laughs> no, I don't want to close them out. I think I want to brace myself and then end my turn. Or did the cards go away? They went away. They don't. Okay. Well, now we know. We got to set them up. up and a reel them in <laughs> this time. Set your ass up. Oh, and the set them up buff is infinite. Okay. So I don't even have to worry about that. We reel them in. We do a little scheme. We do another scheme. He only has two patients left. Yeah, that's fine. It's enough time to set them up. Set them up! And then close them out. Got his ass. Hello, Peppy Commoner. You should go home after this, but you're too wired because you saw a dragon yesterday. <laughs> Set him up. What are you about to do? You're about to gain a shield, so I don't need to brace myself. Nah. We'll just end turn. Gonna go ahead and reel him in. And Ooh, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and brace myself. And then I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Listen, the potions just keep getting more expensive the more you talk shit. Fuck. So I, don't have enough, three. I don't have enough to set them up and reel them in. So I should just reel them in. Mm. Reel them in, close them out. Yeah. Give me your money. Money, money, money. Oh, look at the brooms. I think I could get the hang of this. Oh, look at this friend. Hey, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can, I live here. Are you invoking squatters rights? Cause I got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I've just inherited this place. Huh, just when you're sure you know a condemned building when you see it. But maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potions witch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions. You should kick some business my way. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Sure thing. I definitely, I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Planting the seed, look at this art! Oh my ah! god. That's a character you would draw. Yeah, big time. Quinn is, is very Jacob Core. Yes. Applies plant the seed for three turns. Raises interest by eight at the start of each turn. Well. That's huge. Quinn. You scoundrel. You know, I think I will use that. But where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. I'm excited to get to know you. I'm excited to get to know you. Maybe we can hang out. I'm not really big on hanging out. Oh my out. god, the hat! But, I don't know. I could maybe make an exception for you. Either way, I guess I'll see you around. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. We stan our non-binary ruler. We do. Oh, what a cute little, little tableau Aww. of sleeping. Here's my day summary. Competition's on day 10. We're going to need a health potion, a fire tonic, and a mana potion. Okay, we don't even know fire tonic yet. Uh, I'm assuming we'll learn as we go.
Just gotta take this one day at a time. Novice hero, oh my god. You want me to voice this person? She's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she would be. She's strong. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wow. Is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up the other day, and now... Uh, potions! Yeah, part of the mess. I'm working to get the place up and running again. Well, I'm impressed. You must know what you're doing. That's... Really kind of you. The truth is, I'm new to town and new to running a shop. I'm sort of figuring it all out as I go. Really? I'm new here too! My name's Mint, and I, I got to town just a few days ago. I'm Sylvia, resident potions witch, and by resident, I mean I literally live here. It's seriously so good to meet you, Sylvia. Now I have to ask. Does Foster the Formidable ever shop here, or Dox the Defenestrator? That would be a huge honor, because I can tell you're psyched. That would be a huge honor, but I'm not sure I'd recognize them. You didn't have posters of them in your bedroom when you were little? I guess that was just me. I might be a bit of a fangirl. To be honest, I've been geeking out pretty much nonstop since I got here. The freaking animations are so cute. It's, it's really adorable. I mean, this island has a lot of historical significance for the Heroes Guild, and this is where they defeated Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafta. Who all my homies hate. Who all my homies hate. Of course, the fallout from that battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. But the whole place is rebuilding now, and that includes the local chapter of the guild. They've put out a call for new recruits. You've got the muscles to be a hero. You've got the muscles to be a hero? Ever thought about joining? Aw, thanks. I do work out. And, as a matter of fact, joining up is exactly why I came to Rafta. I answered the call. Hey, that's great. Congrats on the new gig. Thanks, but I'm only a provisional member for now. They've got me running odd jobs for the XP. Rebecca Roney, thanks for the raid. Thanks for the raid. What's up, Reb and Squad? Squad of 71, appreciate you coming in. Thank you, thank you. We're looking at the cutest characters ever put to the screen. Yep. Oh, that's like for experience. Any day now, I'll be ready for proper adventures outside of town. After all, there's a whole island out there, teeming with mystery and danger, and potions ingredients, of course. Swing by the guild hall if you're ever, ever looking for loot. I could help you out for a small fee. This sounds promising. Thanks for the tip. No sweat, Sylvia. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. That's going to work in your favor, I bet. Evoke sympathy in your customers, and they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. Sympathy. Oh my Look at this God. face. That's a Julia face. Yeah, it is. You draw that face. I do. Gain two shield, apply sympathy. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Then I have a feeling you're going to do great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some fetch quests to tackle. You wouldn't believe how often people in this town misplace family heirlooms. A bug is in here. I know. We have a gnat like flying around. Events. Slime season. It's open season on slimes. Slime ingredients will cost more. Essence ingredients will cost less. Mm. Increased value for fire time because dragon sightings are on the rise. Oh Everyone's been saying they saw a dragon. They've all been talking about the dragons. So we're out of ingredients. Can't make any more potions. Might as well check out Quinn's shop, right? Or else there's always the Heroes Guild. First things first. Let me get in my deck. Because we got some new stuff here. If this plant the seed is incredible. Oh my god. That art on the left. Oh my god, it's so good. I like that they have two different color eyes, one red and one gold. That's a that's a combo. Alright, we uh. got some we got some pronouns here too. Quinn is the they them. Yeah. 
And Mint is a she, her. She is a, uh, what is it called? Delicious in Dungeon? You're, you're so right. She really feels like that. Yeah. So this just straight up replaces a, a shield. It's just better than a brace yourself. So we'll minus two brace yourself plus two sympathy. And then this. I think someone just discovered that you and I stream. Who? Who discovered? A, a Drawfee fan. Who freaking discovered? Con confuzzled. You think you're discovering me? I'm discovering you. All right, I feel like I'm gonna get rid of more Thanks Sylvia Thanks. Okay. And I'm gonna put in the, the plant the seeds. Mm -hmm. That feels right to me. Save deck. Save game as well. And then let's travel. Oh. Do we visit Mentor Mentor Quinn? Mm, I'm partial to Mint just because she's like a go-getter. She is a go-getter. But Quinn's but, very you. But Quinn's a little little shit. You do love a little Quinn's shit. Quinn's a little shit engaged in some little shit activity. I love this map drawing. All right, let's start with Quinn. Yeah, a lot of people are saying Quinn. Quinn, you need ingredients? Yeah, can we get ingredients from Mint? Oh, sick. Look at this fucking so cute. I'm gonna scream. Hang out, gift, shop. Let's hang out. Oh, but this takes time. Yeah, but I think it improves your relationship. Best ingredients in town. Okay, so slimes are expensive right now. Yeah. But we can get mandrake root and, and fayberry out the wazoo. I think those are like the neutral prices, aren't they? What do you mean neutral prices? Like it doesn't seem like it's any cheaper. Oh no, it's not any cheaper, but oh. it's not any more expensive either. So let's get, let's get 10 of these. Yeah, 10 of those. Give me, give me 10 of these. I'm not buying any slimes. I'm not spending mm -mm. double price for slimes. Are you kidding me? Too much money. And then, do we have any potions brewing right now? I don't remember. Take me home. It doesn't take time to travel around, right? Welcome back. You'll probably want to get brewing soon, yes? Check your potion recipe book for all the possibilities. Remember, offering a variety of potions is key. While your potions brew, consider dropping in on your new acquaintances, but traveling takes time, so plan accordingly. All right, so it does traveling take time. Traveling does take time. Well, anyway, I think you can take it from here. Remember, blah, 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 and you take an early rest if you need it, otherwise you might get too strong to function. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, now we have an end day. Well, I'd like to brew, please. Oh, you can upgrade the cauldron, I saw. Eventually. Wait, so have I already brewed something? You can bottle it. Bottle. Look Superb at that. brew! Except. Reference your recipe book. Throwing things in a cauldron and seeing what comes out is all well and good, but planning things out can give you an edge when reacting to the market. All right, let's check the recipe Apparently piece. traveling takes you one hour, but you can go to as many places as you want. So I guess it's like, You want to do it no all matter once you're what. out. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll make, um... Cause we got, we only have the stuff to make, to make health potions right now. So I guess we'll make health potions. 
We don't have enough ingredients for anything else. Wham. One of those, one of those. Recipe pee. How many of these can I put in? Well, you can have up. Oh. That many, exactly. Oh, yeah. See, there's like berries <laughs> for it. For. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. All right, we'll brew this. Get that brewing. Okay. You want to set up your shop and set open up? Set up my shop. Open my shop. Let's do it. Save my game in case I do something stupid, which you never know with me. Hello, passionate craftsman. I'm going to set them up. I like their suspenders detail in the back. Yeah, a little nice little gold. Mm -hmm. I'm going to brace myself. Come at me. And I'm going to end my turn. What is this? You're gonna increase my stress and you're gonna force me to draw a stress card. Why would you do that to me? What's the matter with you? Uh, dealing with customers, I suppose. Reel them in. Plant the seed. End the turn. And then, of course, we are out of juice, so we will... Planting the seed doesn't do anything when you play it. It's all, always at the start of the turn, right? I was like, I play it anyway, no reason not to. Close the deal! Do it. 71, are you seeing this? You did get a 10% bonus for ending in that little heart. It seems. Uh, Incredible Frown said an extremely good detail. When you use a card you got from someone else, you you mimic their animation. Oh, that's cute. That's really fun. Have a nice day. Chill Artisan. Yo. Cool hair color. Plant the seed. Scheme it. Sympathy. Reel them in. I don't need to brace myself again. He's only doing one. Mm -hmm. In turn. You're crushing it. I don't want constructive criticism from you or anyone. Set him up. Reel him in. We're gonna have to close the deal the old fashioned way, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. Close deal. Things are looking up. This is a fun game. Yeah. I like this game. I like looking at this game. Oh, I like the little nest that's on top of our little uh, roof there. I just oh, this? It. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. All right, I think our potions are ready now. Yeah. So we'll bottle them up. Bottle. Perfect brew. Okay, you want to make another one? I sure do. Brew it up, gamer. I have a legitimate cooking question for you, Jacob. Yeah. And it might be very silly. That's that's fine. Potatoes. Potatoes. When you boil Potatoes. them, you always put them in the water first and then you boil them. And then mm -hmm. it's like cooked when it water's boiling or whatever. Do you do that so you're not just like splashing the water or it's just so that they're not like bouncing around and having a kerfuffle? No, it actually has to do with like how the potato cooks. It needs to be like a slow to. Yeah. Okay. It needs to like raise up to temperature with the water. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember 
why you're supposed to do that cooks more evenly, someone in chat is saying. Okay. Other than that you are supposed to do it is what I remember. She's here. So they cook evenly, yeah. Okay, thank you. Probably because they're they're pretty thick. She's boys. here, she's here, she's here, she's here. Miss Alive. Ready? There she is. She's so good. She's so good. Um, okay. Save my game. Oh, she's in prison again. Yeah. She tore up her tummy. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Okay, arrange potions. Open shop. Olive doesn't wipe her eye gunk on me as much. Hey, Sylvia, look alive. I had a feeling this one might not suck. Oh, I'm selling to Quinn. I want to do good for you, Quinn. Set him up. Reel him in. Set him up. And turn. Why would you stress me out, Quinn? I thought we were friends. This is going to be a classic case of you're not, you are hurting me. So we're going to need some sympathy. And we're going to need some plant the seed. And we're going to need some real amen. And we're going to need some. How, many, how much are you doing? You're doing two. And turn. Oh, look at this. Highly interested. Mm, well, they only have one. The interest left. Is, is completely juiced. We're closing it out. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, friendly artisan. Set him up. Reel him in. Do you intend to increase my stress? No, you don't. Actually, no, you don't. I block your attempt. I can see you put some care into it is so damaging. <laughs> That's what I do whenever I hit go live on Twitch. I put up the shield and I'm like, you can't stress me out today, chat. But sometimes you you overwhelm the shields. <laughs> we're gonna plant the seed and we're gonna end the turn. Hi, sweetie. We're going to... We only have three patients. So if patients... I'm going to ask you, chat. If patience hits zero, I lose the deal, right? It's not like zero is the last right. available like you can't number. Then do close the deal. Like I can't close the deal on zero patients. Lose the deal at zero. Okay. Good to know. You're my good little girl. Then in that case, we just reel them in. And we close the deal. You got a sweet cat over there? Oh, we got a, a poop demon over there. Hello, poop demon. A little, little stinker. We found out what, what makes Joy's poops bad, but it's also the thing that makes her feline herpes symptoms better. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out what to do. I found some holistic medicine that maybe I'll try. Some Jackson Galaxy holistic medicine. Let's get some potions going. 
I, I love the producers Saturn and Poop Demon. <laughs> They're two incredible producers. Brew that up for me, please. And then I guess, so with stress, mm -hmm. is stress all that makes us need to sleep? <laughs> Seems that way. So I could travel. Do I have, oh, I have potions to arrange. Let's arrange them. I can open shop in the late evening. Owl friend said that hanging out also reduces stress. That's true, hanging out also reduces stress. Should we go do a hangout? Let's go do a hangout. You need sleep when you have friends. Let's go see Mint. I do love Mint. Hi, Sylvia. I'm so glad you decided to drop in on me. What do you think of the guild hall? Isn't it amazing? There's a lot more taxidermy than I expected. Yeah, heroes love their trophies. Maybe I'll be contributing one soon. Because, get this, I've been approved to go adventuring. The training wheels are coming off! Get a mint. You should send me out sometime. I promised I'd bring back some great loot for you. How does that work, exactly? I can tell you all about it. I just had my orientation and I took detailed notes in my dedicated color-coded adventuring binder. Sounds complicated. Nah, I'm just a nerd for this stuff. It's actually a pretty simple system. Start by choosing which area you want me to explore. The further I get into that area, the more loot I'll bring back. Providing me with potions is totally optional, but the right potion could help me get further, or might help me find better spoils. Every potion has its uses, but health potions and mono potions are by far the most important. Health potions help me withstand damage, and mono potions power up my attacks, allowing me to fight my way past monsters. However, uh, there's a limit to how many potions I can drink at a time. All that magic really messes with a person's stomach. Oh, and don't forget there's a fee every time you want to send me out. Those are set by the guild. That's about it. Consider me on call. Honestly, I can't get out of here soon enough. I know you'll do amazing. I hope so. This is what I've been training for, after all. Oh, they also gave us a goodie bag of health and mana potions for new recruits. Let's use them on my first adventure. Hell yeah. Can I sell these? <laughs> health potions to patch me up and mana potions to get me to the finish line. Let's use them both. And hey, thanks for the support, Sylvia. It means a lot. Oh, look at him hanging oh, out. Oh, so cute. All right, we can't hang out. With, there's not enough time in the day to hang out. Oh, that sucks. I guess because it's late evening. It's the final thing. It's the final countdown. <laughs> Someone in chat wrote, and I'll try to do it justice by voice acting it. G gay. <laughs> <laughs> so if I gift an ingredient, different people like different ingredients. Okay. Wow, really? For me? Uh, how do you feel about... How do you feel about Fayberry? Hey, this is pretty good. Can I give you something else? I have to refuse, Sylvia. One gift is more than enough. Fair enough. All right, you're going on an adventure. You know I'm game. We're sending you to the Enchanted Forest. Get out there, girl. I don't back down from a challenge. Oh, look at her ID. That's so cute. Adorable. Heroes earn loot for every monster or hazard overcome, regardless of whether they complete the adventure. Oh, interesting. That's cool. 
It says on the top left in tiny font. Gotcha. All right, well, we got your equipment on. See how well the hero thinks they will do on the adventure. Run the simulation. Let's go. Crushing, Damn, it, crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. I'm gonna dominate out there. Hell yeah. Let's go then. All right, hammer time. She use a hammer. We could go, oh, we can't hang out because it's too late. That's right. We could maybe buy some stuff though. Mm. Hello, Quinn. And we meet again. I got something for you. It is a mandrake root. It isn't bad. It isn't bad. Can we buy the mandrake root back? No, I still sold out of that, I guess. Well, we right. just gave them one. Well, we won't buy anything then. Really? Huh. And we can't hang out, so... What is this? Oh, this is this. Take me home, country roads. Each character has separate day and night theme songs. That's cute. That is cute. Good to have the heroes up and running again. Next day. Why is everyone in this game low-key hot? What do you mean low-key hot? They're high-key hot. They're high-key hot. The keys have never been higher. I wonder what the... I wonder what today has in store for me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Muktuk! Greetings, Tuskless One. I have for you a question of dire importance. The potions that you sell, do you make them yourself? I sure do. Every potion you see is handcrafted on site by me, Sylvia. It gladdens me to hear it, for potion crafting is a noble profession. A noble profession indeed. I am pleased to meet you, Sylvia. You may call me Muktuk, for that is my name. I don't like that his nip... No, well, it went away now, but his nip... It's its the kind of thing where it's like looking at you no matter where you are in the room. <laughs> it follows you. I wonder if I might be of service to you in your endeavors. Oh, we're not really hiring right now. You misunderstand. I do not seek employment, for I have already found my calling, and it is a great one. Like you, I am a craftsperson. My media are metal and all the minerals of the earth. My skill is unmatched! But key to any artisan's success is access to the right tools, and I cannot help but notice. You appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. Tell me, do you not thrive on innovation? Do you not wish to dance upon the razor edge of progress? I like being on the cutting edge. I like being on the cutting edge. Innovation is as necessary is as necessary as food and breathable air. It also tends to be expensive. Then you must allow me to be of service. Please accept this cauldron as a token of my respect and as a sample of all I have to offer. Wow, thanks. That's so generous of you. But are you sure? Where I come from, cauldrons are pretty expensive. I only regret that I cannot offer all my many goods and services free of charge. Truly, it is a most impossible dilemma. I view each cauldron as a work of art, and art is meant to be freely accessible to all. And yet, I find I must cover the costs of production at the very least. Otherwise, I shall have no materials with which to make these artworks. Apparently, you can romance him. The artist's dilemma. Which is amazing. And to leave these righteous flippers bereft of material and idle of purpose would be unthinkable. In the end, to put a price tag upon my cauldrons, this feels like the lesser sin. Speaking of art, nice tattoos. Speaking of art, nice tattoos. They really suit you. Sylvia's got a great flirting pose. <laughs> hey. Of all life's canvases, none is more exquisite than the body. Hi, Joy. Especially a body that is rippling with muscle. But I hope you do not find my confidence off-putting. Such conviction is not so common here as it is in my homeland. I find it necessary, however, to hold myself in high regard. Those of us who put our creations on display, who are judged so openly and so often, should be the first to see and celebrate our own strengths. What? You reading that? I blacked out. Whoop! 
You oh blacked God. out on the one piece of information that would be helpful for you to remember? <laughs> Wait. Uh, she's stepping on my neck. Ah. Celebrate your own strength. I could never. Can you chair her? Oh, she did it. Good job, Olive. <laughs> we must be kind to ourselves. We must pump ourselves up. For it is only by fanning the spark of pride within us that we can hope to ignite the flames of interest in another. Yo, pump up! Solid advice. Solid as an anvil. I'm glad to know you, Sylvia, and I hope that I shall see you again. Please visit my market stall, see all that I have to offer. For the world can be a cold place, and those of us who toil to bring light and beauty into being, we must stand together. I love him. He's excellent. I love his attitude. He's great. And his big pecs. He does have Armstrong vibes. Fruit ingredients will cost less. Slime ingredients will cost more. Am I ever going to get to buy slime? Nope. Mushroom mire has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Mushroom mire ingredients will cost more. We're, we're not going to the mushroom mire then. We still have to figure out how to make fire stuff. We'll get there, I'm sure. Nice of Mucktuck to give you a new cauldron. Let's set it up in the shop now, shall we? Okay. Customizing the shop to your liking is a big perk to owning the place. Go wild with it. Customization. I can't wait to someday own a place. We want the clay cauldron. Can hold six ingredients. Oh, I gotta get my potions out. Get your potions. Can I get my potions real quick? Thank you, thank Perfect you, brew. thank you for the potions. And then, new cauldron. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my God, I can customize so many things. Things. Eventually. Joy's looking at you like, why are you yelling? You came over here, Joy. If you don't want to get yelled at, you shouldn't come over here. <laughs> She's taking over. You know what we gotta get Joy, you? I don't have any room. When I make you a desk, I have to make <clears throat> you one of those like pull out tray desks. You yeah. Know, where you have the mouse under. I would so like she that. she can't get on it. That would be great. Also because then it won't be so in the way of my Cintiq. That's true. I would love a pull-out tray desk. Yeah. Or at least a two-tiered. 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 Um, I'm going to, oh, your potions are arranged. I could put another one in though. I sure can. Let's get a mana. How much, can you see how much the minor um, potion gets you? 29? Oh. That one's a 16. Well, okay. this is the one that was given to me. Right. Not one that I made. This is one I made. Oh, okay. The right. star rating is different. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So do I even want to sell this or do I just want to hold on to it and like give it to Bent when she goes out? Mm. I want to sell my, my big juicy booty potions. All right, let's do a save. Let's do a deck builder. I would love to get some pump up in here. And I think I'm going to do it by taking out something else. What does pump up do again? It gives me 50% more interest raising on the next interest raising card. Oh, interesting. So I think it's probably good. I think we'll take out a set them up and a reel them in and we'll add two pump ups. Save deck. 
You should also brew some potions in your new cauldron. You're so right. Ooh, it's a different shape. And I can put in more oh, yeah, things. Six. Oh, we're gonna have to buy some more ingredientes, huh? Sure are. Let's brew up, and then maybe we'll go out because we sent mint out as well. Oh yeah, is she done yet? Is she brew. back? Let's check on mint. If you knock a bus. Whoa. Look at all this we got here. Got some wood. Damn, mint. You did a good job. The enchanted forest was no sweat. I actually enjoyed being out there. I knew you can handle it. And I'm excited to use those ingredients you brought back. I found some other goodies, too. I set them aside for you. These are glamours. They'll change the look of your shop. Yes! They're purely cosmetic, so don't expect some tangible benefits. Still, they're pretty cool, right? Yes. I think they're pretty cool. Thank you. Hey, thanks. I could see how it'd be nice to switch things up every now and again. Oh, sorry, Joy. No problem. I'll keep an eye out for more. Apparently, some critters got into a shipment and now they're spread all over the island. Which reminds me. I can return to the forest any time, but also I'm up for more of a challenge. The mushroom mire and the bone wastes are available to me now. They're a little more dangerous, but that means better rewards. Joy is encroaching evermore. She sure is. And here's one more tip. You can introduce yourself to our guildmaster, Baptiste. He sends out daily expeditions, and if you invest in one, you'll get a share of what comes back. I'll be sure to introduce myself, and I'll keep you in mind for further adventures, too. Sounds good, Sylvia. I'm ready when you are. I would rank up. It takes an hour? I was going to say I would hang out with... Mint, but my stress is already at zero. Yeah. It feels like I should hang out when I have stress. Yeah. But what about rank up? Let's hang out here for a bit. Sylvia, I love this guilt all to pieces, but let's be real. It's a death trap waiting to happen. Want to make the rounds with me? I can use an extra set of eyes. Mint stalks the guild hall, her shoulders squared and her eyes steely with determination. She produces a rough sheet of sandpaper, then sets to work smoothing down the sharp corners of every table she finds. She moves fragile vases to higher shelves. She padlocks a drawer full of kitchen cutlery, shurikens, and minor explosives. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were baby-proofing the guild hall. What's going on? Is one of the heroes, you know, expecting? Only in the sense that I'm expecting my colleagues to overindulge and start bumping into things! It happens every night, and bruised shins are no fun on long heights or, or dungeon delves. It's kind of you to shield your colleagues. It's kind of you to shield your colleagues from harm. I want to do my part, you know? Be a team player! It won't surprise you to hear. Being here is a total dream. We're both living our dreams. We're both living our dreams. Although, mine comes in, comes with a share of difficulties. Mine too, actually. I mean, I'm bunking with people I recognize from trading cards. I'm eating at the same peop- uh, at the same table as people I've written fanfic about. They say you should never meet your heroes. Oh, meeting your heroes is awesome, but sharing a bathroom with them is just super weird. So you weren't exaggerating before. You really are a fangirl. Yeah, ever since I was little. I grew up in a quiet port town. It was... Nice. You say nice like it's a bad thing. No, really! I had a great childhood. I was safe and happy. I have eight siblings who are all awesome in different ways. And my dads are both book lovers. And 
so we got bedtime stories every night. I remember fairy tales about bold princesses and fables about wily animals. But my favorites were the stories about real-life heroes. I liked those best because they were true. I drift off to sleep imagining what it would be like to be one of them. And now you're here. Yeah, here. With a chance to be a hero on the level of those I used to dream about. I can only hope to live up to their example. I have a feeling you'll do great. No kidding? Well, I'm sure I'm learning a lot. The sparring lessons are intense. I've been doing some sparring of my own. Verbal kind. Here's a pointer I learned the hard way. Keep your guard up when you go on the offensive. That's probably sound advice whether you're wielding wooden swords or savvy words. Keep your guard up. Oh, she does use a big hammer. Raise interest by eight, gain three shield. Nice. That's good. That's a great card. That's a, that's a great card. That's we're, a great card. We're, we're going to have... Okay. I feel more formidable already. Good. Show him no mercy, Sylvia. You've got what it takes to handle grumpy customers. Sharp-edged countertops, too. Hell yeah, let's go. Do you want to go on an adventure? <laughs> Do you want to get back out there, champ? You know I'm game. We're not going to the mushroom mire. We're going to go to the bone wastes. Say the word and I'll head out. And we'll give you, we'll give you these. How do you feel about this? Time required three. That's all right. She'll do oh, it. Yeah, she'll own. be doing it. That's yeah. fine. Don't take my time. No, it takes her time. Ooh. That's all we got, girl. I don't have any more health potions right now. That's fine. Just go. Embark. I'll report back ASAP. Who's this? That's Baptiste. You can invest in his the raids or whatever it was. Wow, this place is bigger than I realized. Hello? Oh my god. Greetings, fair patron. Greetings and welcome to the Heroes Guild. I'm Baptiste, esteemed guildmaster and fledgling barkeep. Hi, I'm Sylvia. I'm new to town and I make potions. Then you'll certainly benefit from our services. Hiring a hero is a surefire way to get your hands on new ingredients. You can work directly with any hero you're acquainted with or come to me. Ad time. The ads are starting. We have to wait. We have to wait to hear more from Baptiste. We have to wait, everyone. I'm sorry. You can look at Joy and Olive at the same time. I have this much mouse pad to he work with. He truly does. That's all I've got. Yeah, it's a two cat stream. She's got her little paw reaching forward. And then here's this one. She's asleep. I'm so interested to see what our new streaming setup will be once we've moved to the new place. That's right. There will come a time when you will have seen this view of this room for the final time. Unless you're watching a VOD. Unless you're watching a VOD, but that's in the past. That's in the past. You'll be seeing a different room in the background. Yeah, I've been thinking about the layout past couple of days. Pretty exciting stuff, though. Rip the skylight. Yeah, no more skylight. Yeah. But the new apartment is, is way better than this apartment. Yeah. So we're both really excited about it. It's cool as hell. Yeah. And bigger, too. Yeah. And it has central AC. Jacob's very excited about the central AC. I've never had central AC. Well, we won't have uh, the AC making noise in the background of streams That's and true. recordings. We can be cool and also not have noise. 
My mom's texting me. It's my mom's birthday tomorrow. Uh, so if you follow her on Twitter, send her a happy birthday. Um, my mom's very excited because my brother went to go visit her at her house, and he bought he brought his daughter, and his daughter, they're staying the night, but they didn't bring a bed for her, so she's in a big girl bed. Whoa. Apparently she's she's kind of freaked out. It's a lot of bed. It's a lot of bed, and it's also very dark. It's a new place. So. A lot of bed for a little baby. They're making her nice and cozy, comfy. Gonna have to, like, set up barriers of mm -hmm. <laughs> blankets. Well, my brother's gonna sleep in, like, the same room on the floor. Yeah. So that she feels a little more, more comforted. Yeah. But... Poor little baby. Poor little baby. Things are hard for babies. Maybe they're scary. How old is niece now? She's like two in a couple of months. Let's see. And getting older every day. Two years old in three months. Oh, it's Jamie's birthday coming up too. Happy birthday, Jamie. Happy birthday, Jamie soon. Our wonderful, wonderful mod. Jamie soon. Ads are over. What? And I'm ready to talk to Baptiste. I always have a list of upcoming expeditions. Invest in one, and in return, you'll receive a portion of whatever loot is brought back. Wow. It sounds like the guild has a lot to offer. We aim to please, so if there's anything else I can do to do 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 He's kind of got a Kaiba outfit on. He does a little bit. If there's anything else I can do to be of service, just let me know. How about sharing some pointers? Do you have any advice for a fellow merchant? Well, I don't know that I'm a merchant, per se. I'm more of a facilitator, My a master God. administrator, if you will. I keep everything running smoothly here while our town's great heroes seek glory, adventure, and resources. He looks like that dude from uh, Legend of Korra who says, Avatar. Avatar. You remember that guy? I don't. I didn't he's, watch a lot of Korra. It's in the first season. Oh. He looks like this and he's like shitty. And he keeps saying Avatar. He's the only one that pronounces it that way. Yeah, Tano. Tano is his name. I think every character is kind of a little shit in Korra. From what I've seen so far. In a good and bad way. It almost sounds like you're bragging about being a bureaucrat. Don't you know? Bureaucrats are the very linchpin holding society together. We don't call ourselves heroes. But if making order of a chaotic world isn't heroic, I don't know what is. That's an interesting point of view. Isn't it? And in striking up a conversation about it, I'm demonstrating that piece of advice you asked for. If you've got something to sell, then best to captivate your audience forthwith. Captivate. Oh my god. Ooh, increases patience. Ooh, that's our first increased patience card. Yeah. That's nice. I think I can manage that. It's advice I've recently taken to heart. I arrived here only a few months ago, intent on guiding this guild to greatness. And the heroes have greeted me with open arms, although some of their traditions are rather mystifying. Say, you look like a commoner. <laughs> Maybe you could share some insights. Yes, be shitty to me. You must be a noble then. Shh. <laughs> I'm trying to downplay all that, you know, to help me fit in. But that brings us to my question. Tell me, this charming little tradition of leaving gifts in a new friend's shoes. Gifts? Yes, you know, like shaving cream and rotten fruit and that one time it was a scorpion. Is that really supposed to go on for months? I mean, I'm flattered, but it's starting to feel like overkill. They're taunting you. I'm gonna be honest with you here. Yeah. They're taunting you, Baptiste. There is no tradition like that. Oh, really? Well, the joke's on them. Because I've been taunted by the best. It will take more than a bit of tomfoolery to get my goat. At any rate, I shouldn't be too surprised. I knew coming here that there would be a period of adjustment. Finding yourself suddenly in a new land, in a new role, it can be challenging, can't it? We'll get the hang of it. 
we'll get the hang of it. I mean, almost everyone in town is a transplant. Indeed. In that sense, you and I fit in quite well. At any rate, it's been a pleasure making your acquaintance, Sylvia. I hope you decide to avail yourself of our services. And I trust we'll find the opportunity to chat again soon. <laughs> He's got great poses. He does. He's so over the top. All right, how does invest work? So we invest and we get these ingredients the next day. Interesting. So if we get... <laughs> I just want you to know Joy's trying to click the button on the mouse. Yeah, I know what she's doing. You want to play Joy? Oh, she, she went to go press it again. Move your little hands. She's like, what about my bed? So if we get four octopuses, we'll get a rare bonus ingredient guaranteed. Cool. And maybe we get, we could do this too. Disrupts ecosystem. I hate the ecosystem. All my homies, I hate the ecosystem. Yeah, just give me all this. I'll be back tomorrow to get it. And while we're here, how do you feel about... Shell. How do you feel about Shell? You like it. You like it enough. That's nice enough. All right, let's go visit the walrus man. Yeah! Muck tuck. Ah, Sylvia, you brighten my day. How do you feel about, um... What would he be into? A shell? Because he's a... walrus man? Do you like shell? You accept shell. What does he love, Shell? We can rank him up. Should we rank him up? We can just spend this day, like, doing things around town. I'm gonna rank him up. I can make time for a fellow artist. Rafta is indeed strange and delightful. Do you not find it so? In all my many travels, I have seen no place like it. You've traveled a lot, then. I have, but that is not so unusual for a walrus. Those of us who seek excellence, who pursue mastery in our chosen field, must undertake a great privilege. I mean pilgrimage. The privilege of a pilgrimage. <laughs> and mine has brought me here. I like to take, uh, uh, pilgrimage pr privileges. Pri pri cook the option. What do you like to take? Privilege pilgrimages. Tell me more. I don't know much about Walrus culture. Then I shall be glad to teach you. My homeland is a remote place marked by its harsh climate. We are welcoming of outsiders, yet receive few visitors. And so we take it upon ourselves to send our best and brightest out into the larger world as emissaries and pilgrims. We travelers are charged with a great and holy purpose. We are meant to spread our expertise far and wide to dedicate ourselves to service in foreign lands as a path to self-improvement and enlightenment. Some of us have devoted ourselves to medicine, some of us philosophy, while others have created artworks of such indescribable beauty you would weep to look upon them. And that's why you're here? To share your artistic talent? You are correct! My pilgrimage has brought me to Rafta's shores, and here I shall remain until I've created a masterpiece. But to create something more remarkable than the land itself, this will be a challenge. <laughs> People will tell you that Rafta is a wild place, chaotic. But in fact, the opposite is true, for this island was built with intention. It was shaped by the hand of a powerful witch. Maven carved out the mountains. She charted the course of the rivers. The very flora and fauna have their origins in her lab.
I don't know what to say. He seems enthusiastic on the witch. She had the right idea. She had the right idea. I see the appeal of having a whole island to play with. I do as well. For the grander the canvas, the greater the impact. This, then, is what Rafta means to me. It is a living artwork. Upon its every surface, I see the mark of its maker. I like a guy who knows what he likes. I like a guy who knows what he likes. You're very passionate, aren't you? I cannot hide my enthusiasm for such topics, and I think that I should not try. Enthusiasm is like love or beauty. It is not diminished when it is shared. Raise interest by 16. Holy shit. It's a, it's a three He's part. so enthusiastic. Look at him. He's shouting down this person. I'll try to remember it when I'm back at the shop. Routine can make it difficult, I know, but we must all do we all what we all can to muster enthusiasm for the beauty that is all around us. We do we all. This is what travel teaches us in the end, to look around with hungry eyes, to truly see a place, and to find joy in all that is different and strange and new. Rebecca Roney said, can I tell you about my OCs? <laughs> What can you make for me? Mud pack cauldron. Glass cauldron. New shelves. Mushroom mire shelf. Bone wastes shelf. Oh, and these do have bonuses. They do. Maybe I'll get a mushroom mire shelf. Give me one. Bum, bum, bum. I am honored by your decision to make a purchase. Honored and delighted. Hey, don't mention it. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, so we're both benefiting. From your lips to the ears of the ancestors. However, it must be said that even this fine, fine work you have selected, it could be better. Do not mistake me. It is a work of art, and I am proud of it. But should you find yourself with surplus ingredients and disposable funds, then I would be able to enhance the item far beyond its current incarnation. You mean like an upgrade? An upgrade, yes. You could call it an upgrade. Or a reimagining, or a revolutionary advancement in the corporeal manifestation of the arts. Upgrade is easier to remember. Very well. Remember this, too. An upgrade to a cauldron can greatly increase the cauldron's maximum stable ingredients, or might even increase the number of ingredients you can place in it. An upgrade to a shelf will increase its surface area and stability, allowing you to place more potions upon it. Consider it, yes. It would bring me great joy to do this for you. And to you, it could bring great profit. Thank you, Muktuk. Let's go pop in on Quen. Hey, Sylvia. Here you've been busy. Uh-oh. What have you heard, exactly? Nothing especially interesting. Mint just mentioned you've been working with the Heroes Guild. She's too nice to give me the real gossip. It's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I know all the heroes. After they go on their little adventures, they sell their trash items to me. It's basically my whole business model. Trash comes in, trash goes out. Of course, they keep the best stuff for their clients, so I'm guessing you've got something decent in your inventory for once. Maybe something I've never seen before. Give it here. What? No. Why would I do that? Suit yourself. I'm just trying to help you out. I know how this goes. You get your hands on a good ingredient, and you're all excited to use it in a potion, right? So you throw it in your cauldron, and poof, it's gone forever. But it doesn't have to be that way. What's the alternative? Easy. Hand it over to me instead. My clairvoyance lets me hone in on specific ingredients, meaning if you give me something good, I'll be able to find more of it, and then I can start offering that ingredient for sale in my shop. You miss out on the instant gratification, but you get guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future. Yeah, okay. I can see how that could come in handy. I'll let you know if I decide to take you up on it. There, see? You give me free stuff and we all benefit. Mostly me, but still. I 
wouldn't expect you to operate any other way. But hey, since you're chummy with all the heroes, does that mean I'll be running into you in the guild hall? Nah, despite the invaluable service I provided the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their clubhouse. You set one fire and suddenly everybody acts like you're a real liability. You set two fires and you get banned for life. Consider yourself warned, I guess. Now, did you want to buy something? So I need to give him, give them one of every ingredient I find. Mm. Take this mushroom. Smart thinking, Sylvia. Ooh, the eyes. Yep. There's a lot of care that went on in this game. Yeah, the whatever the art team is for this game mm -hmm. really put their whole ass into it. Ooh, the babies. Ooh, they're cheap today. Don't mind if I do. And I'll go ahead and take some of these too. And now it's time to make some money. Yeah. Rank up! Gonna rank up real quick. I guess I've got a minute. This is sort of an unusual location for business, isn't it? It has its perks. I do like the view. I do like the view. You can see the whole town. Yeah, so I can spot trouble coming a mile away. Listen, in business, you gotta use any advantage you've got, whether that's the high ground or a low blow. Got the upper hand, that's when you press the attack. Press the attack. That's a good card. I'm willing to make it the most of an advantage. As soon as I get an advantage, I mean. Just now, I could use an advantage in the marketplace. You might fit the bill. Come on, follow me. All right, here's the deal. There are a total of four chocolatiers in this town. Each one of them gives out one free sample per customer per day. Oh my God, we're doing the mall food court run. <laughs> yeah. What are you waiting for? Go get them, bring them here. Spurred on by the urgency in Quinn's voice, Sylvia plunges into the throng. The chocolatiers aren't hard to find. In a matter of minutes, she has four small chocolate treats. Yoink. Hey, wait a minute. What gives? You can't be that lazy. First of all, I wouldn't underestimate my laziness if I were you. But more to the point, I've got a lifetime ban from those stalls. All four of them. Well, in that case, I'm glad I could help you out, I guess. Hey, don't be sore. I'll share if you want. But they use some unusual ingredients in these things. You never know what's inside till you take a bite. Unusual ingredients? As in monster parks? Among other things. Tell me more. Why use such strange ingredients? That's what we have access to. You gotta understand, this island was off limits for years. And all that time, the land was stewing in sweet, sweet magical juices. So pretty much anything you find here is going to have some magic in it. I guess we have that dead witch to thank for that, Maven. She performed some pretty out there experiments before the Heroes Guild took her out. It almost sounds like you admire her. Wasn't she evil? Better evil than boring. Maybe she could have taught me some things. Maybe I could have taught her some things. Anyway, the land Maven left behind is a weird place full of weird stuff. And I like weird. Weird is rare. Weird is valuable. The hard part is getting our hands on the best stuff. We need the local heroes to, you know, get good. They rely on potions when they're out there foraging. So if you level up your craft, they get better and you and I both benefit. We're in this together then. We're in this together then. That's sort of sweet. Yeah, sure. Super sweet. As long as you don't turn out to be dead weight. Now I gotta get back. Boxer gets antsy if I leave him for too long. And I get the impression you've got your work cut out for you. Cute. Do we think that the slimes are ever going to go down in price? I'm not buying slimes for 14 gold. No. I can't bear to do it. I'm going home to the place where I belong. I mean, maybe Mint will come back with it. Maybe. Could be. 
How's your how's your potions? Oh yeah. Oh, I probably need to sell them first, shop. huh? Well, weren't you brewing some? Uh, then we got some new flooring, new wood floor, or stone floor. Mm. I like the new wood floor. Mm -hmm. New stucco wall. Polished wood wall. Look at us now, baby. Ooh, clean it up. We clean it up. All right, let's arrange my potions on my mushroom mire shelf. Is your cauldron done brewing? Probably. Oh. oh. Superb brew. Mwah. All right, I do have two sacks of slimes. What what can tonic. we make here? Whoops. Whoops. What's the tonic? Um, we need an A and a C. So that's a, a one red and one yellow? Yeah. This gives us yellow. That's and true, And this gives us red. So we can make some fire, fire tonic. Yay! Because didn't we have like a quest that was make a fire tonic? Like a like a daily sort of thing. Well, that's we need it for the um, the competition. Oh right. All right, let's make some fire tonics. Make some fire tonics. We'll dump our slimes and our fey berries, and we'll brew it up. Good stretch. Nice, and we sweetie. will save the game. And I guess we'll open shop. Oh no, deck builder. We got new stuff here. I'm so bad at deck building, but I do like this game. Press the attack lets us draw a card and also raises interest. Raises interest by five. Sorry, Joy. I'm just playing around with the thing. <laughs> we got enthusiasm. We got captivate. Increases the patience. Keep your guard up, we definitely want. That will replace Brace Yourself, I think. Pump up the jam, pump it up. And I wonder if we, if the move is to get rid of some set em ups and real amends for some of this new stuff. I think it might be. Give me enthusiasms. And I want press the attacks as well. <laughs> All right, saving Cats are again. So funny. Cats are very funny. They're such weird little goblins. All right, let's open the shop. I need to make some monies. Yeah, we spent a lot of money. And we need money for the last day. We need money to make money. All right, you piece. You're gonna do a lot of stuff I don't like. Thankfully, we got a lot of good stuff here. Mm -hmm. We'll press the attack. We'll plant the seed. We will sympathy. We will enthusiasm. Scream it right at you. Let's 
So I think we we pump up, we reel them in, and then we close the deal. Yeah. Close the deal. Plus 47%, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good, I feel. Hello, oh friendly craftsman. Goodness. All right, we got keep your guard up. We got enthusiasm. I love the, the graphic for enthusiasm, just him screaming at that guy. Mm -hmm. You want it to go to someone who will appreciate it. Damn. What? I'm about to appreciate your ass. No, that doesn't work. He doesn't really have an ass. They don't really have an ass. And then we pump up. We press the attack. All right, you only have two left. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just close the deal, I think. Yeah. I, I was so. hoping to get a closed Wait, deal. You'll get a plus 15% at the heart. Yeah. I mean, I was just hoping for the closed deal card so I could get an extra bit, mm. but I did not get it. So many people today saying that this is their first live stream that they've been watching the VODs. Wow. Thanks for being here. Yeah, welcome everyone. Thanks for watching those VODs too. Oh no, we were down three hundo. Well, we spent a lot of money. Yeah. But now we'll make a lot of money. Mm. If you max interest, it's okay if you run out of patience. Oh, good to know. The glamorous life of a potions witch. It's not quite as I pictured it. Fancy witch. Oh! I'm howling at the moon. <laughs> my eyes are bugging out and my tongue is rolling out of my mouth and going across the table. <laughs> Ooga. And I'm turning into a train whistle over here. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Hi, I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? Oh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne, and I'm a potions maker of some renown around here. Roxanne, this outfit is freaking insane. It is This is the wild. most psychotic outfit. You know, I suppose that makes us rivals. What? Oh, don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. And if I were, well... It appears someone else beat me to it. But I'm simply here to wish you luck, dear. After all, just because we're rivals doesn't mean we have to be enemies. Really? Wow, that's... That's a huge relief, actually. I'm new here, and I could use a little friendly advice. Absolutely. Start with hot, soapy water and vigorous scrubbing. What? No, I want to ask about the big competition that's coming up. Ah, yes. What a day that will be. I can see it now. The adoring masses. The cries of adulation. The huge pile of gold, soiled with the tears and viscera of my fallen opponent. I suppose I'll have to rinse it off before I spend it. Gold. So, will I see you there? Cheering me on for the stands, perhaps? Actually, I'm planning on competing, too. What a positively charming idea. Please disregard all that nonsense about me getting little pieces of you all over the winnings. How <laughs> silly. Oh, good. I thought... No. I'll take great care to eviscerate you before you get anywhere near that gold. Wow. So much for making new friends. Oh, honey. I said we weren't enemies. I never said we were friends. Well, she went from good luck to... I'm going to enjoy disemboweling you awfully fast. She was right about one thing. Rapta's economy thrives on competition. We don't want to be the only potion shop in town. 
Right, just the best one. Let's start with not the worst and work our way up from there. My God. Increase in customers. Mushroom Meyer still sucks ass. Now that you're finding your rhythm, you should try attracting more customers. When stocking shelves, think about placing some potions on display in the front window. Potions placed on display won't be sellable, but they will draw in more shoppers. The more valuable the potion, and the nicer the shelf, the more likely you'll see an increase in customers. What in the hell is at our front door? That's the, sh the display shelves. Where's our front door? It's right here. Oh. That's a window. Oh, okay. I was very confused. Clearly. I apologize. But right now we already get as many customers as we have potions. That's true. Bottle. Bottle. Minor fire tonic. Perfect brew, baby. Perfect. So should I just like save one of these? For the competition. <laughs> People are sad because they're realizing what time it is. It's true. Or do I need a... Common fire tonic. So a minor one maybe is not what I need. I need a bigger one. Block three points of fire damage. Block five points of fire damage. Yeah, people are saying it's not uh, high enough level yet. I can play more of this if y'all are enjoying it. Um, you should have seen the amount of messages in chat asking us to play this again. Yeah, I'll definitely play it again. This is very fun. Oh, yeah, look at chat. It's popping off. It's popping off, man. Oh, it's already 11, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put some stuff into brew. I guess we'll just make some more health potions. Yeah. Because that's what I got at the moment. I guess it, I should put some wood in too, right? Well, it takes two hours. And the wood will cook it immediately then? cuts it in half. Oh, I guess okay. it can't go shorter than one, mm. so it's actually a waste yeah. to use it. Joy, what are you looking at? Oh, is it because your sister is sitting behind my chair? Hi. Alright, I will save. Save. And when we play this again next week, I'll have to desperately try and remember what we were doing. Yes. And what I need to do. So, we'll be back on Sunday with something. Yes. And then we'll be back on Wednesday. And then we probably won't stream that following Sunday. Yeah, probably not. But I uh, hope you all had a good time. That's it. That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, I'm doing draw class this month again. The draw class will be Ask Me any like it's professional career, advice yeah career advice um it can be anything from how to budget to um like how to set up a photoshop file to be like a printing size like my tips for that um but yeah i can i can do that Maybe I should have like a Photoshop tips class too. Yeah, that would also be helpful. Uh, that to my list of things. How to survive grad school, you just gotta keep trucking. Anyway, yeah, that's it. That's it, thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time, bye. bye.